Chris and Dan show, what is up? What is up? We got Jay Z super ugly. Super a lot of ugly? people, Chris, a lot of people commented on our Nas and Jay Z, like Nas Ether. Remember, it wasn't that long ago we did Nas Ether and then Jay Z, the takeover. They dissed each other. Yeah. Um, so I remember. We, I, I actually got it wrong like I normally do. This song we're about to do is Jay Z's response to Nas's Ether. Okay. So, um, thanks to Bing0102, he says, fun fact, Will I Am, Chris, produced the song Hip Hop Is Dead for Nas, the one you like. Okay. And also, Super Ugly, which is this song, is Jay-Z's response to Ether. Should check it out if you haven't heard it. Jay-Z gets so disrespectful, his own mother got mad at him. Hmm. And I didn't know that part, but I do know the song. So this is, I guess, this is the height of the beef. Nas released Ether. Everybody thought Nas killed him, which I do. And most of the comments still think Nas won that battle. Who's Who can argue with that? But Jay-Z did come out with this one. It is funnier. So you have a chance you might like it. And there's lyrics on the screen, so you could see. But he does get pretty disrespectful here. If you ever need me to pause, let me know, right? It's only three minutes. All right. So here we go. And what's funny, he uses the ether beat too. Like from when Nas did it, Jay-Z just uses that beat in the beginning to kind of make, I don't know. Let's just go. Woke up this morning. Uh oh Got yourself, yourself. Oh, sorry. He uses the got yourself a gun. He uses Nas's own beat. Nas had a really popular song called Got Yourself a Gun. Mm-hmm. And Jay Z's using that beat at the beginning of this one too. It's been so long, I forgot like the details. Here we go. Woke up this morning. Uh-oh. You got yourself, yourself. Uh-oh. I Nas got in trouble. Myself a gun. Uh-oh. Yeah. I got myself a gun. <laughs> Brooklyn, stand oh, up. Man. I got myself a gun, but really I don't need the heat. Your hard pump project, Kool Aid, you sweet. Nigga. I don't got a two way you gauge. This is not me, this is rap, homie. I don't have a scratch on me. You feel J Saw, Rick J. All. Damn, I'm only worth over a hundred million. Look, I got beef for like a hundred. <laughs> How hard is that bar, man? He basically told Nas, you can't compete, man. I'm only worth about a hundred million. <laughs> wow, what a humble flex, huh? Humble. Very humble. Very <laughs> humble. I'm only worth over a hundred million. Look, I got beef with like a hundred children. Niggas with pink suits trying to get you. You a little out of line, homie. Don't let the what does that mean? Anyway, time out. Yeah? Look, I got beef with like a hundred children. What does that mean? He's saying that like all these young rappers try to make clout for themselves by dissing him because he's okay, at the top. So, so he's saying Nas is a child. Basically. And he's, got, and he's got 99 other beefs just like this one. Yeah, he's saying Nas is just trying to get clout just like all the other kids are. Got it. Okay. Even though no one believes that because Nas can hold his own. You, you a little out of line, homie. Don't let the nine, homie. Put you out your mind, homie. Just rhyme, homie. Kick your little lies. I kick my real facts like you sneaking out the back of the soul sound lab. <laughs> we wasn't chasing you. We had a tape in two. We came through to do our one, two thing. It wasn't a rocker, fella. Come through things. If it was on like that, I would come through Queens with Queens niggas. You know how I do. Look, I got more shooters in Queensbridge than you. Niggas to tie you up on the Coliseum roof and open beer by Bottles of the boy chip too. Look here. I got myself a gun. Uh oh. Yeah. I got myself gonna get disrespectful a gun. here. Listen, I'm the J, the A to the fuck this broad. This nigga never so ass when I guess the ball. Had to buy your chain back last time you got raw. The nerve of this coward nigga. Oh my god. And I know rap rumors all in the windows. I bring it to your live, lift up your window. Let the puppets begin, see your dirty laundry. Y'all don't want me to continue. Ho! <laughs> Oh, beat switch, beat switch is gonna get ugly. <laughs> so this next part is gonna be personal stuff about Nas's baby mama and how she slept with Jay Z. Uh, and, is, and is this Jay Z singing this part? No, this is like at the time this was a popular song by this guy named Nocturnal. 
Okay. But Jay Z uses the beat. But I guess this is where it gets personal and disrespectful. To where Jay Z's mom got mad at him. So, <laughs> huh? so who? So who's singing the lyrics? This part is just nocturnal. It's like a hook okay. of his song that he's okay, using. At so the time, it was really popular. Got it. He's sampling it. Okay. Yeah, he's sampling it. Yeah. Yeah. When you do battle, you just. I mean, you can make your own beat like Nas did with Ether, but really, you just kind of use what's popular and put your own thoughts on there. All right. Me and the boy A, I got more in common than just balling and rhyming. Get it? More in common. I came in your belly. So I guess that AI is Allen Iverson. Carmen is Nas's baby mom. So Jay Z says, Me and Allen Iverson have more in common than just balling and rhyming. Get it? More in Carmen. Mm. <laughs> Very nice. Wow, 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 wow. A lot of people didn't get that to begin when this first came out. <laughs> Me and the boy. What's that? I can, I can see why his mom got upset with him. Yeah, already. Already. <laughs> hey, I got more in common than just balling and rhyming. Get it? More in common. I came in your belly back seat. Skeeted in your cheek. Left bottles on your baby seat. Yeah, nigga, wow. That's disrespectful, man. I mean, skeeted in your Jeep? Left condoms on your baby seat. Wow, saying something. Jay Z, mom is not gonna be happy with this song. Man. It's twenty years ago. In your belly back seat, skeeted in your cheek. Left condoms on your baby seat. Here, nigga, the gloves is off. The love is done. It's whatever, whenever, however, nigga. One. And since you infatuated with saying that gay shit, yeah, she was kissing my dick when you was kissing that bitch. Nasty shit. You thought I was born in her neck. You called her mom a hundred times. I was born in her neck. You got a baby by the bra. You can't disown her yet. When is your lies say When is the truth begin? When is reality setting? Or does it not matter? Gotta hurt. I'm your baby mama's favorite. Rapper, and actually carry girl, she know what's up. Holla at a real nigga, chicka. I don't give a fuck. All I really know is your brutal. Be with me, and she ain't playing what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so this was he used this hook because it's like he thinks it explains the situation perfectly. <laughs> sure. So that so those previous uh lyrics, so is that legit or is he just yeah. making it up? No, it's legit. Like, Nas never said it didn't happen. And oh. this one, like, the beef got even worse. Like, I don't think there was a response by Nas to this. Um, But the nerds in the comments will tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, Jay-Z's probably lucky he didn't get shot. All right. Well, that's what Jay-Z's saying. Like, Nas is not really about that life. He said, you never sold aspirin. How are you, Escobar? Right. Okay. And it's interesting beef, man. Oh, and that's it. It's over. It's over, but um oh what happened here? I did see that it happened every five years or so. Ten years. I was to get rid of the blood, but the ten years since the last last <laughs> I never caught that till the lyrics, but basically in takeover, Jay Z said Nas only makes one hot album every ten years. Uh. And so he put us some quote of who I don't know from what movie. That's all right. This you got to happen every five years or so. Ten years helps to get rid of the bad blood. <laughs> it's been ten years since the last one. <laughs> Damn. Damn, man. That's pretty cool. I, I never really knew what that last part was until the lyrics. Yeah. It's kind of cool. So what do you think? So interesting. Um, <laughs> getting personal. Rappers get very personal. Uh, you know, and I don't necessarily mean any disrespect, but it seems kind of childish. Well, they were younger. I mean, they were probably both in their early 30s, which yeah. is still adulting. But uh, uh, you're grown by then, uh, at least hopefully. That's how rap is. When, rap, when rappers get beef, they all go to the lowest common denominator. How can I make you embarrassed? And they just keep going further. It's part of the battle rap culture. Like, yeah, let me try to diss you harder than you can diss me. And then, well, you're not going to make a rebuttal. Why I'm saying it seems kind of childish is because if it's all just made up, okay, that's not necessarily childish in my mind. That's just basically more playing around, right? Yes. But if you're actually using actual 
things Facts. that occurred. Yes, now it becomes <laughs> childish because you're you're literally really trying to embarrass this person. Yeah, and that's just kind of childish. In my you're opinion. putting another grown man's business yeah, out, in out the public. There. Yeah, yeah, but in his defense, you know, he says Nas knows because Nas got kind of personal on Ether too. So not that personal though. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Skated in your Jeep. <laughs> Put wow. Put on your baby seat. Yikes. Uh, yeah, I would be pissed if I were. Uh... Well, Jay Z's mom was pissed too. Yeah, uh, yeah, should be. Hey, he got a spanking. Yeah. <laughs> he got a good spanking after that take <laughs> takeover. Yeah, that's bad. Welcome to battle rap, man. Again, Tupac and Biggie both got personal too. Battle rap, at least what I've watched of it, it's never seems like it's legit. It's always made up stuff. Yeah, sometimes you can't tell. Um, but Nas never denied the allegations in this song. Like, if it were not true, he would have just said that in interviews, and he never did. Right. Well, that just means, at least in my mind, uh, whatever Nas said upset Jay-Z, so he had to take it to the next level. Yeah. Yeah, but hey, community, you asked for it, you got it, and I don't think there was any more disses between these two guys. I think this one kind of ended it, unless I'm wrong. I think you said previously they're friends now. Or they yeah, they're friends now. Like they're they did a song together uh, in 2009. How the hell? How, they I did a song a, called Black Republicans in 2009. If Nas, I don't see how Nas. If that stuff's true, I don't see how Nas could be friends with them. If it's if it's all made up, no problem. No, it's true, but they squashed the beef. So it wasn't Nas's wife; it was his baby mom. So he was cheating on his wife anyways, uh, and they're now divorced. So it's not as bad, but it's still his baby true. mama. True. I don't know. They squashed Whatever. it. They had a private conversation. I don't know. And then they made a song together called Black Republicans, which was pretty sick. Hmm. And now they're Nas was one of the first investors of Coinbase. So he doesn't need to rap anymore. And he had his exit recently when they went IPO. And Jay Z's huh. a billionaire. Yeah. yeah everything, everything looks good for them. They got different baby mamas now. <laughs> <laughs> and other people skeeting in their Jeeps now. Lovely. Karma. Well, you didn't see when Jay Z. Um, Jay Z's always been accused of cheating on Beyonce. And. Um, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, there's a video footage of Beyonce's sister in the elevator with Jay Z, and she's like kicking the shit out of him for ele- supposedly like he. Yeah, I think I she saw She confronted that. him about that. So it's karma, man. Karma, Carmen, karma. Yeah, I believe in that shit. I do too. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, what you and invoke? Nas got divorced from uh, Khalees Milkshake Girl and uh, who? Wait, wait, in Coinbase. Nas was, Nas was married to her? Yeah, my milkshake bring all the boys. Yeah, I remember are. that song. That's like 20 years ago, but I remember it. That was his wife. Huh. He Did cheated on that. her with Carmen, supposedly. The rap nerds are going to fact check me. They're like Reuters. Yeah, they'll let you know. Fact check, sir. Um, there is no proof that mRNA can change your DNA. <laughs> yes, there is, you dumbass. It's called the reverse transcriptase. All right, well, there goes this video. <laughs> yeah, there goes this one. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, Nas Coinbase, to me, both of these artists are, like, legendary. Like, they're both in my top five. I don't know who I have favorite. I go back and forth all the time. It doesn't matter. But they're, what's even more impressive to me is their business acumen. Because Jay Z started uh, Rock Nation, which is the concert. You know, they're it's basically the Ticketmaster competitor, mm-hmm. and obviously is doing very well with that, as well as sports agencies. And uh, Nas invested in a bunch of stuff. The most famous one is Coinbase, and he was like one of the early angel investors in Coinbase. So yeah, these dudes are nice move. Yeah, <laughs> super nice. 
And he got out when they IPO'd at 400. Perfect time. Always get out the IPO. He probably like 100x'd his investment in it too. So yeah, that's impressive to me. But yeah, this beef was cool. Thank you, commenter, for this. Um, one more time. Your name, please, is Bing0102. Thank you so much, everyone else. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Oh, did you like this? Uh, not as much as the previous one, but it was okay. Okay, so you're you still like Team Nas. I feel you. Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.